the famously picturesque racecourse in Chantilly, France. The horses gallop past what was originally an enormous stable. Now it's become the museum of the horse. Inside, exhibits remembering great thoroughbreds. But it's not just about racing. There's something here for everyone. One of the things I, I've always enjoyed in, in horse racing is, is very often there's a lot of humour. So I bought these things as jokes, you know. Yeah, the farewell pictures. <laughs> They're great. I had the books when I was Did in Did you? Here. Today's tour guide is a rather special one. The man behind this project and a major player in the racing industry for the last 50 years, the Aga Khan. It's an exciting project. Uh, and I think it'll be one of the few museums totally dedicated to the horse in all its aspects in life. Naturally, there are plenty of mementos of His Highness's success. I recognize this yes, one. Yes, indeed. <laughs> this one I remember well. Kayazi, trained by my father and winner of the Epsom Derby. And what's this one next door? Well, that would be a head of Shergar, I would think, because Shergar always galloped with his tongue out. Shergar is sadly as famous for his fate as his career. He was kidnapped in Ireland 30 years ago and never found. There are two horses that have remained in my mind. One, obviously, is Shergar. Um, not because of what happened to him, but because of the way he won the derby and he still has the winning distance. Ten lengths, was it? Ten lengths, and being pulled up. <laughs> and there are some living exhibits, although none too likely to line up at this weekend's Prix de Diane, a race which the Aga Khan has dominated. You have an incredible record in the race. How many, how many wins is it? Seven. The Prix de Diane is, is, is a remarkable race in the sense that the distance is perfect for fillies at this time of the year. It's run on a course where there's no hiding. So either you get the trip or you don't get the trip, and that's important to know. And uh, I think, generally speaking, the fillies that have won the Prix Diane have gone on to be very successful. With no runner in this year's race, he won't be adding to his impressive tally. But the inauguration of the museum this weekend counts as another victory in his adopted hometown of Chantilly. It looks good fun. Is it, is it, is it, is it it's a It's a toy. Game? Yeah, it's a game. So you just spin it and then it... <laughs> Picks a horse. I, I, I think they probably gambled on it. Francesca Camani, <laughs> CNN in Chantilly, France.